<laughs> Mic check, one, two, one, two. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Hashtag TNT Joe Fi, tech news that Jerome Ortega finds interesting. I am your host, Jerome Ortega. Today is Friday. Well, here it's Friday. Friday, October 16th. Oh, my watch is saying 1422, but uh, two. 2.22 p.m., 2.23 p.m. here in uh, the very cold city of Chicago. Today is, I don't even have news. All, all I want to do is talk about where we're at with the Pixel, where we're at with the iPhone. Those are the only two phones I really want to talk about at this point. I mean, there are other news. I don't want to watch a ton of videos either. Like, I feel like I'm not able to talk to chat. I haven't talked to chat in a minute. And so we might watch one or two. I do have one or two lined up just in case. But I really wanted to, like, kind of see what all of you were thinking, where you guys were at when it comes to the Pixel 5 or the 4a 5G, or did any of you order an iPhone 12? Anybody? iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro. I think those were the only two that you're able to order today. You had to be up at like seven in the morning though. I woke up 30 minutes late, but uh, I still got to order mine. <laughs> I wrote here on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can find me on Twitter at phone Jerome right here. But I wrote here and I said, uh, woke up late but still got to pick up on the 23rd in the early afternoon. So it's perfect. I think they have me picking it up at around 12.45 p.m. And then I'll just hop on the train and then come back. And hopefully I'll be back in time for the live stream. And then I'll unbox it live. Although there probably isn't much to learn when it comes to the iPhone. I think we all know what to expect when I get that phone. Maybe I can compare it to my 11 Pro, which is right here. But yes, I ordered the gold one. Look at that cost. Look at how much money this goddamn phone is. I got uh, 128 gigs. I mean, thank God it's 128 and not 64 anymore, but $1,061.44. Tax here in Chicago is like 10.25% or 10.5%. Did you know that Illinois has the highest or Chicago? I think I'm right with that. I think we have the highest sales tax in the country. Anyway, so yeah, I got the iPhone 12 Pro. Am I keeping it? No. I only bought this because I wanted to test out the telephoto, test out LiDAR, test out how good the camera is going to be, but I'm eventually going to return it and then I'm going to figure out whether I want an iPhone 12 mini or if the Pro is that good that I'll be buying the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I still don't know if I can carry a phone that big in my pocket. Don't know. We'll see. All right. Let me say hi to everybody in here. Haven't had a chance to do that. I haven't had a chance to really like talk to chat because I've been watching videos and like the streams have been kind of crazy. And hopefully it's a little more chill today. I think when I just put myself in front of the camera, nobody wants to watch. <laughs> or at least the only ones that do are like my, like the phone Jerome fam. And and we need, we need a second to chill. It's Friday. Let's like relax. Let's talk about the Pixel 5. Let's talk about iPhones and go from there. Uh, Jason was very, was the first to, to drop in here. Yo, it's your phone and fam. The 5G, not network, but fifth generation design Google Pixel phone. Yes. Jason, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Team Vari, TGIF people. TGIF, 
Team Vry, welcome, welcome. Uh, Team Vry also says, Jerome, would love to see your live iPhone versus Pixel comparison. So this is something that I think I'm going to do. After watching Red Skulls, right, that's his name, video yesterday, which, by the way, was a very good camera comparison video. It gave me some time to actually, like, kind of pick apart, you know, the video and the photos, and maybe that's how I'm going to do it from now on. I'll, I'll take the photos, I'll put them side by side, I'll crop some stuff out, and then we'll go through it. And then I can share with you my thoughts. I feel like that would be a good compare, a good camera comparison. Do that live. That would save me 12 to 16 hours on editing. <laughs> so, um, but yes, I, I, I do want to do that, uh, Team Vari, for sure. All unboxings, all like 24 hours after I own a phone, I, I just want to do it that way. I think I think it's I don't know it's genuine like it's live oh I left my window open if if that noise if the city noise gets too annoying let me know but I I think it's it's just it's a little warm in here even though it's like 45 out today uh Igor Pajkanovich Igor what's going on man what's up Jerome what's up Igor how are you welcome to the stream nice to see you as always uh fear the roof 42 first to like where's my cookie cookies are on deck they're coming Anyone that hasn't had a chance to hit that thumbs up button, please do me a favor and do so. It's a great way to support. Um, I do stream weekdays at 2 p.m. Central. So if you're not a subscriber, I don't know what you're waiting for. There is no other tech reviewer like me. There probably isn't. I don't know. Maybe there is. I I, I don't know. But uh, like, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, Brian, Friday, TNT Joe Fi. And then a bunch of Nexus emoji. What's going on, Brian? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday, for sure, for sure. All right. Team Vry says TNT Jofi as the sun sets on my side of the world. So chill a moment. Hopefully the music helped you like chill out and you're relaxing, you're watching, and uh, hopefully it's a good show today. We'll see. Javon Sims. What's up, Jerome? What's up, Javon? How's it going, man? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's weird. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Ernie Manning. I said Jerome in the house. <laughs> Do you know how often I got that growing up? I got it all the time. I loved it though. I said Jerome in the house. What's going on, Ernie? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you, man. The woo. What up, a bro ham Lincoln, my dog. <laughs> what up, the woo? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Uh, on my way to pick up my wife from work at the moment. Let's get this show on. We are, we are. Uh, Javon says, I actually made it on time for a change. I shocked myself. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. All right, guys. Um, got my Stone Brewery Buena Veza beer. Buena Veza? I'm ready to go. I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I've ever had that. No rush, but when you get a chance, I emailed a photo to you comparing my wife's iPhone photo with my Pixel 3 XL of a recreation of the same photo. Twas interesting. Again, no rush. I know you're busy. Yes, I will get to it. I am a lot more busier than I have been in like the longest time. I will get to it for sure. For sure. I promise. Fear the rue. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, Brian says, coding is rubbing off the Pixel 5 for some people. We're going to talk about that today. Um, we're going to talk about a couple issues with the Pixel 5, what people have been finding out, what they're saying. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, Odd wait, so many phones have made me want to stick to my trusty Note 10 Plus even more. I have found out a lot of people after they've like sat on it, they've watched reviews, they've thought about it, they're like, maybe I won't buy anything. Maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll just wait another year. Maybe that's what a lot of people should be doing. I've been saying this for a while. <laughs> for people who can wait it out or wait for a discount, I keep calling it the big brain move. It's a big brain move if you wait for the discount because you're not that idiot trying to buy it day one, second one, like me, who just spent 1061 and 44 cents on this iPhone 12 Pro. <laughs> Paul says, the abyss of no news, second half October. Is that what this is? No news? Well, I mean, it's review time, I guess, for some of these phones. Um, Paul, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Uh, Hopkins, compare it to the Pixel 5. Compare what? The iPhone? Yeah, I'm going to, like, obviously, I'm going to compare everything to the Pixel 5. The Pixel 4a, the Pixel 4. I don't have any of my other Pixels. 
I do have my Nexus 6P. Those are always fun to do, to compare the Nexus 6P. I like doing that. I, li I like calling those legacy, legacy testing, legacy testing. Um, yeah, Chicago taxes are no joke for sure, for sure. Classic Google bill quality. Classic Google, classic Google. Amin says, that phone costs more than the laptop I'm using. Well, let's hope I don't like the 12 Pro that much that it forces me to buy the 12 Pro Max. Because at $1,100 plus tax, I'll be paying over $1,250, I'm sure, for the phone. That'll be iPhone. That'll be Huawei P40 Pro Plus territory. I got to get rid of this phone. I, I'll, I'll probably do a test, and then I got then I got to get rid of it because I'm not even I'm not even using it anymore. Does anyone want a P40 Pro Plus? I'll give it to you for like ten bucks. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, William says highest tax, highest sales tax. One of the nicest waterfront parks, though. There you go. <laughs> but uh, if you can live by it, I live about two miles from from the lake. Um, wait, you're talking waterfront park. What do you what do you mean by waterfront park? I just thought you meant the lake. I used to live right by the lake, like half a block from the lake. I lived in a studio apartment and I was paying like was I paying 1100 a month? And that was like 7 8 years ago. My god, so goddamn expensive to live to live here. Deepak Murthy, hello hello. What's going on Deepak? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you as always. YouTube user. Hi Jerome. Hi guys. What's going on YouTube user? Nice to see you as well. All right, um, let me scroll down here. Where am I at? Um, <laughs> our favorite Bond villain. Uh, Jason says, MagSafe charger, 59 bucks. Silicone case with MagSafe, 75 bucks. 1640, oh, in, in Singapore, that's right. That's right, man, almost two grand, God. I'm really interested in what makes the Pixel experience so good. Like, could you get all those features through rooting a OnePlus? I don't know if you could get screen call stuff yet. The experience on a OnePlus is very similar to a Pixel. There, there are probably some things here and there, but I think a lot of people who have a OnePlus, I don't think they would really mind the pixel experience as much as say somebody who uses something completely different like using samsung's ui i don't know how to explain it either i really don't i don't think it's just the stock android experience alone i think it's the camera as well but yeah i mean if you have a oneplus like other than the camera, I really don't. The experience is going to be pretty similar, I would say, unless Oxygen OS 11 is completely different now. But I don't know. I haven't even had a chance to test that out. Anthony Scalisi, what's going on? The infamous Pixel Ultra is still the best design. Full screen with two tiny bezels for front firing speakers. Can't wait till they release it. Me too. Me too. In what world is that happening, Anthony? Tell me, I will move to that world. I'll teleport myself into that dimension. <laughs> where, where it's not a pixel. They're still calling it a nexus at that point. Um, a $5 super chat from Bert. Of course, from Bert. Bert, my God, Bert, you've been killing it, man. Bert, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Thank you for the support. Thank you for always helping out here uh, with the phone Jerome fam. I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you, Bert. God damn it, Bert. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bert says, order the iPhone 12. Oh, you got the white one. Um, pick up the phone at Apple Store next Friday. Me too. Me too. Still get the Pixel 5 later. Me too. And then I'll be broke. Will you be broke, Bert? I don't know. With these super chats, man, I don't think you're broke. <laughs> Bert, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, uh, but you ordered an iPhone 12, not a Pro. And I'm returning mine anyway, so... It's not, I'm not, I'm not keeping it. I'll just have it for the two weeks and then test out the camera and then move on. So, all right. Where, where was I at? Bert, thank you so much again. Thank you for the support, man. Appreciate it. I got another super chat here. It hasn't popped up on my screen, but it popped up on my phone. There we go. From Igor, a two pound super chat, two pound. Yeah. Yeah. 
Euro is different. Uh, I'm on a 6T, and now I'm torn between the 12 Pro and the Pixel. Well, just know you'd save a good amount of money if you get the Pixel. But I don't know if that's the right choice. You've been using a 6T? I have a 6T. It's sitting over here somewhere. I got to sell it. I, I've been sitting on that phone forever. Um, that's right. Sam Ayub, who's in here, has been wanting that too. I need to get back to him. Uh, yeah, Igor, you got to let me know what you end up getting. Oh, wait, it's different for you too, right? Pricing is different. So I, I'm not sure what it prices at where you're at. Anyway, um, Igor, thank you for the two pound super chat. Thank you for helping out. Thank you for helping offset costs. Thank you for contributing to the phone, Jerome fam. I keep trying to think of different ways to say thank you. So guys, thank you so much for the support as always. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Igor, let me know what you end up getting. Let me know. All right. Where am I at? Losing my spot. Um, Anthony, no, I read that. <laughs> I love tech a lot. What's going on? One plus eight T or pixel five, bro. One plus eight T. If camera is not a priority, if money is not a priority, saving money, that is. All right. How, how I can only say it by. So grant, I hope grant doesn't get upset that I call this out, but grant was on my discord. Also for anyone that wants to like, get on my Discord where we talk about chat and other random things. Uh, you can, if you are a YouTube member, if you don't have access yet, DM me at Phone Jerome right there on Instagram or Twitter and be like, yo, I'm a YouTube member. Like, where's my link for Discord? Also, if you wanna be a YouTube member, you can go right here and click that blue join button. Right there, click it, God damn it, click it. You get a bunch of perks. I'm not going to go through those perks right now because I just don't feel like doing it. Um, I want to go back and answer uh, I love tech a lot question. One plus AT or Pixel 5? If you want to save some money, obviously the Pixel... Wait, no. No, why am I talking about money? No, money's not even an issue. You save 50 bucks. And honestly, the One plus AT is going to be the better performer. It's going to have... 120 hertz refresh rate. It'll probably be the better performance, like gaming phone. The camera though, I mean, the camera game is on the Pixel. Like if you like a smaller form factor, the Pixel. But OnePlus AT has 65 watt charging. It doesn't have wireless charging. So you gotta think about that. You gotta, you gotta think about your priorities. You know, you know how, you know how I do? You got to like list your pros and cons and then put them in order and be like, bam, 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 bam. Okay. This is what I'm going to get. And then I know what's going to happen with most people. They sit about, they sit down, they think about it. And then they're like, okay, I don't want either of these. I want something else. Let me know what you end up getting. Sorry. There's just, there's a lot of city noise and I forgot to close my window. Um, Deepak Murthy, I pre-ordered an iPhone 12, 128, 128 gig in blue. Nice, man. Nice. Um, aren't you getting the Pro Max, right? Isn't that what you said? I thought you were getting that. Or am I wrong? Apple doesn't give discounts. That's true. That only applies for Android products. <laughs> Matt Costello. Matt, what's going on? I pre-ordered and canceled within 12 hours. I still want the phone. Now I'm just going to wait. Big brain move. There you go. That's 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 what we're going to call this. You wait for a good discount, that's a big brain move for sure. For sure. Big money Jerome. <laughs> there's no there's no way. There's no way. No. Like that's going on my credit card. That went to my credit card. That's all. I got to close this window. It's too loud. One second. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Um, no, not big money, Jerome. Get out of here, Mario. What's what's going on, Mario? How you doing, man? Prevo, can you talk about the problems with the Pixel 5? I haven't heard of any, and I'm using mine for two days now. You haven't heard of any? You haven't heard about the overheating with 4K60 recording? There was also an issue with 
like the material rubbing off on the surface of the Pixel 5. Now, these are anecdotal, right? Oh, shit. Sorry. My phone's going off. Who's messaging me? Don't you know I'm streaming right now? Um, the under display speaker on the top, the price. <laughs> nah, especially if you're, it, but, but like, so I think the big thing that people have been like, kind of like mulling over is the, the under, under display speaker on the top. As far as the overheating, I mean, people have said it's been happening when they're recording in 4k 60. I don't have one, so I can't, I can't do those tests yet. I can only watch other people's videos and what they have to say about it. What else? I think that's really it. So I'm surprised you haven't heard of any though. There's, I think there's a good amount of people talking about issues with the Pixel 5. Here's the thing though, is like, I, I don't know how I feel about that speaker until I get it. I don't know about that overheating issue until I get it. Like I, I personally don't record in 4k 60, but that's no excuse. That's not like a defense for Google. I just got to wait and see until I get it. Anyway, Prevo, welcome. Welcome. Um, Deepak says, I heard in a UK podcast that the Pixel 5 speaker is more or less mono. The top one is useful. They said the 4a 5g has much better stereo field. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. We'll see. We'll see. You are talking about the lake. Yeah. Chicago's lovely. Chicago's lovely. If you guys have never been to Chicago when this pandemic is over, come to Chicago. Let me know. I'll show you around. Maybe I'll buy you a beer if you're cool. If you're not, you buy me a beer and a hot dog and probably other things. Will. LOL. Yes. Except screen call. And the camera for the OnePlus. What's going on, Will? Welcome, welcome. Um, Baron of Gray Matter. Howdy. Howdy, gang. You too, Jerome. Board at Work has a great comparison between the 8T, the S20 Fan Edition, and the Pixel 5. Board at Work. Is that the person's YouTube channel? Is that what it's called? Not. Cool. I'll have to check it out. I don't know if I... I don't have that on deck. Today I have... Uh, Mr. Mobile, and I have, actually the other one's not even a video. I just wanted to talk about 5G. I wanted to like spend a second and talk about 5G on the Pixel 5 or just 5G in general and how everyone's going crazy about 5G, which is, just kind of want to like talk about that, but we'll see how this goes today. Cause I'm, today, today is a day we're spending time in chat Ask your Pixel questions, ask your iPhone questions, ask your other phone questions. I might not have all the answers, but that's what chat's in here for too. Like we'll talk tech, we'll discuss things. We'll see what's going on. Um, Prevo says you can install Gcam with a config for your OnePlus. Yes, I'm aware of that. And have slightly better photos, which is great. That's, that's a great thing to do. It's something I've done. If you haven't seen my past comparison videos, I do many photo comparisons with Gcam as well. So like, I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware. So yes, you can get better. You can not slightly better. I've noticed that the photos are better. Do they still compare to iPhone 11, Pixel 5, upcoming iPhone 12? I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. Brian with the dollar super chat. Brian, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for always supporting. Thank you for like super chatting 99.99999% of the time on the stream. Always appreciated, man. Brian's been like a longtime supporter. Like Brian's an OG on this channel. So always giving some love. Um, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, where am I at here? John, hi. Hi, John. All right. I'm going to kind of like scroll through these real quick. What online activities trip your Pixel 4a, iPixel, 4a the most? Are there any websites that make the 4a stutter? So websites, I haven't noticed anything, but sometimes when I use Amazon, when I use the app TaskRabbit, I've had it actually freeze on me when it's trying to open up. What was I trying to open up? There are times that, oh, when I was using... Uh, Gmail to open up a QR code to return something on Amazon that froze up and I had to use my iPhone instead. There are some hiccups. There are some stutters. It is no, you use a 4A, you'll know that it's not, it's not like 
an 800 chipset. But for the most part, it can do 90-ish percent of apps. Like it'll get things that you need like with no problem. But like don't be fooled if like, yeah, you will get tripped up here and there. Not always, but it happens. Ted, what up, Jerome? The bigger iPhone has a bigger sensor. Yes. Bigger pixels. Yes. And a tighter telephoto. A better buy than the P40 Pro Plus. It might be. It might be. But uh, it'll be, I'm looking forward to, to getting it. Well, maybe getting it. Ah, it's so much money. That phone is so much money. But I, I want to test it out for that sensor for now you're also missing the OIS. There's a different kind of OIS on the on the iPhone 12 Pro Max to give better video stabilization. They said it's like um, comparable to DSLR stabilization. I I don't. Oh, I have a new member. I I don't know exactly how it works. I they call it sensor shift or some shit like that. I'll have to check. But Ted, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Who Who's a new member here? I love tech a lot. Wait, have you not been a member before? I thought you were a member already. Am I saying this wrong? Anyway, welcome. I love tech a lot. Thank you for being a new YouTube member. Thank you for being part of the Phone Jerome fam. Always nice to have another member in here. Please, members in the chat, throw up some Nexus emoji. Show some love for I Love Tech a lot, even though I don't know if he's been a member before. I swear you've been a member. <laughs> anyway, just throw up some Nexus emoji. Let's uh, let's let's have some OG Nexus emoji up in here. All right. <laughs> I'm, there's no way I'm going to get through all this chat. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Tito, what up, Jerome? How's your day, bro? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Um, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Adam Butler, the Pixel. Oh, you, you change your profile pic. The Pixel is a go if you're not focused about the most powerful specs and can settle for an average top speaker camera, or if you can settle for an average top speaker. Camera is dope on stills and video. That's a that's a great way to put it. I, I feel similarly. I feel similarly. I can agree with a lot of that. Would I wait for a $600 price point? If you can wait for a $600 price point, you should wait for a $600 price point. Wait for, wait, do that big brain move. Do that big brain move. Wait for that discount. But uh, Adam Butler has that pretty much spot on. I agree with you, man. I agree. Tony Pazzo. Hi, Pixel Jerome. Hi, Pixel Tony Pazzo. Hi, iPhone Tony. I don't know what to call you, Tony Pazzo. Should I just call you Tony Pazzo? What's going on, Tony? Welcome to the stream. Leonard says, iPhone sucks with that kindergarten UI. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the UI either. I never heard anyone call it kindergarten UI, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of it either. I still use it though. I've bought every iPhone and still buying it now. So um, here you go. Ernie says here, in my experience, I haven't had any noticeable stutters. I don't do a lot of gaming though, but I would make an assumption that gaming may see some drop frames for sure. Uh, Tyler Ghost. Do the YouTubers who got Pixel press kits get to keep them? Yes, they do. They do. Uh, they had a Pixel 5, Pixel Buds, and a case in the box. Yeah, they keep everything. When I got my Pixel 3, they gave me a Pixel stand. They gave me a bunch of cases. Then they said, bend over now and say hashtag Team Pixel while you're in uh, form. <laughs> Tyler Ghost. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. I don't know if I've seen you in here before. Uh, the Woo says, anyone know how the brightness is on the Pixel 5? Didn't they say, wait, what did they, what were the nits on there? I don't remember. I can't remember. Somebody help the Woo out. I have no idea. Prayush, man, I was so confused what phone to buy. Ended up ordering the S20 Plus for $600 on Diwali uh, festival sale. <laughs> Why are you so upset? Isn't that a good deal? It sounds like a good deal. Am I wrong? Or did you not want a Samsung? <laughs> it sounds like you, it sounds like you, <laughs> you're regretting your purchase. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, Bert says, interesting to see the iPhone 12 camera compared to the Pixel 5. I have a feeling that the iPhone is going to be better. Well, at least from what I've seen yesterday, we went through that and it looked like Oh, uh, the iPhone 12. Interesting to see the iPhone 12. Yeah, yesterday we watched an iPhone 11 over the Pixel 5. But uh, yeah, 
I, I really think the iPhone 12 is still going to edge out the Pixel 5 this year in terms of camera, video, probably both. But the Pixel 5 has improved. At least from what I've seen, it's improved. It's improved not only in the photo department, but in the video department as well. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> Jason says, it's easy. Choose the Pixel 5. Pretend it's the only phone launch in 2020. Yeah, if you want to do that. <laughs> I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. Fox says, yeah, I'm also getting a 256 Pro Max. There you go. There you go. Baron of Great Matter says the Xperia 5 Mark II, awesome specs, Astro Gaming, a 40TR gaming headset, and an anchor, 10,000 milliamp hour power core slim package for $949. So tempting. Sounds like a good deal. Definitely sounds like a good deal. Yeah, Ted's wondering where, where that bundle is. <laughs> Ted's about to buy it. Uh, where am I at here? Victor says, did you buy anything on Prime Day? I didn't. I didn't even, I didn't even have, I've been so busy. I haven't even had time to look at deals for anything. I don't even have money. I mean, I just bought this iPhone 12 pro that I'm going to return. Cause I don't have a thousand sixty, whatever it is that I bought it for. Victor, welcome to the stream. Igor says I'm in the UK, Jerome, both phones come with some, with some of extras. Pixel comes with the Bose wireless headphones. Yes. You're very lucky. And the 12 pro comes with 24 months of Apple TV and music. So like for that, because when I got my iPhone 11 Pro, I got a year of Apple TV. Do you know how many times I opened up that Apple TV app, right? Is the Apple TV, that's that's where you get to watch their like exclusive shit. When I got my iPhone 11 Pro and they gave me one free year of Apple TV, I opened, I opened up Apple TV one time. One time. I watched that show with uh, Michael Scott. I don't know what the show was called but Michael Scott was in it and I watched like the first 15 minutes and then I never opened up Apple TV ever again, ever again. So for me, like Apple music, cause like I use Spotify, I pay three bucks a month for that. So like, that's not a deal for me, but for anyone who wants that, like that's a great deal. It's great that they're adding that in there, especially for two years for sure. Um, Aiden says, I believe the previous pixel 4a, this 4a also overheated with long video recording. I haven't had that happen, but I haven't really used video as much on my 4A because it was kind of meh, you know? I use the front camera once and I'm like, man, this video quality is nowhere <laughs> where I wanted it to be. Um, Grant, speaking of which, Grant, what's going on? Hey, hashtag team phone drone. <laughs> what's going on, Grant? Welcome. Nice to see you, man. Nice to have you on the stream. Uh, the Woo. Pixel 5 is going to be like that drunk uncle. Kind of embarrassing to look at, but you know it's a lot. <laughs> it always has these uh, like analogies in here. Uh, <laughs> tell me. Pixel 5 is the best phone in the world. You know, you know Tony's bent over as he's saying that right now. Don't lie to me, Tony. Don't lie to me, Tony. <laughs> I, I can I can read the sarcasm in that comment. I can read the sarcasm in that comment. Uh, all right. <laughs> Prevo says the speaker is like an all right mono at max. It's around 75% of the Pixel 2 XL. I use a case, so should be fine with it. Thanks. Thanks, Prevo. Thanks for sharing that. I'm I'm looking forward to still getting it. I I, I might talk a lot of shit about it, but like I'm like, who am I kidding? I I am a Pixel fanboy. I want a Pixel phone. I sit here with this 4A that I use as my daily driver. I sit here with a Pixel 4 that I never use because I can't stand the battery on that phone or face unlock, but whatever. So um, I'm still looking forward to the Pixel 5. I don't care what anyone says. I'll get it. I'll give my thoughts on it. And then it'll sell for $600 and it'll be like, great. I could have gotten it for cheaper if I just waited a day or two. <laughs> Uh, where am I at here? Uh, Will pixel five camera looks the same as the four. Will go home, go home. You're probably home, but you know what I mean? Get out of here. Will go home. Tony North Avenue in Pulaski. I'm trying to think what's right on North Avenue in Pulaski. I haven't been there in a minute. That's like West Southwest of me, but, uh, yeah, Tony used to live in Chicago. So like, Big ups to Tony. 
<laughs> Jimmy's hot dogs. There you go. Uh, subscriber, did you receive your Pixel 5? I don't get mine until the 30th. I don't get mine until then. So uh, we got two weeks. Two weeks! Because uh, Google just doesn't... Apparently, I'm not an influencer. Apparently, I'm not important. I'll make Google know. I'll show them. Right, guys? Let's show Google. Let's all... No, I don't. Let's not do anything. Let's 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 move on. <laughs> SZO pad. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me know how to pronounce that. I want to try the Pixel 5 this year. Chipset doesn't matter. Speaker doesn't matter as long as the ringtone and call quality are okay. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I mean, chipset matters to a degree. Speaker also matters to a degree, but it also depends on the person. If you use earbuds all day, then external speakers probably don't matter. But I use the speakers all the time. I consume media all the time. Um, chipset doesn't matter as much to me, but when things stutter, when things like lag or an app doesn't open properly, that's frustrating. And I would hope that the chipset, you know, does what it needs to do. So, but like you said, we'll see. We'll see. Right, Paul Hendricks? We'll see. Uh, Pratt Yuj says, if anyone says anything bad about 5G Verizon, <laughs> they'll hire assassins to kill you. We're going to talk about that today, actually. We're going to talk about 5G on Verizon and um, my thoughts on that. I see other people writing in um, another language and I can't. So like, I don't know if you're like trolling me, if you're talking shit, if you're like, this guy looks like whatever. I can't, I can't. But there's your two seconds of fame right there. Veteran. Della Cuesta, veteran Della Cuesta. How's it going, man? I don't think I've seen you in here before. I just bought the one plus, why did I almost forget one? I just bought the one plus eight pro for myself and pre-ordered the pixel five for the wife. She takes more pictures than me. I love stock Android, but couldn't stomach the 765 G with millimeter wave. I pay 699 with the 865. And like, I totally respect that answer. I totally respect that opinion. There's a lot of people who, who might not even care about the camera. So why, why do they want a pixel five with a lower chipset and pay $700? Like I'm so on board. Like I wish there are some days I wish I didn't give two shits about the camera. So then I could use a different phone with, I mean, I guess I could use my iPhone, <laughs> but I just don't care for the iPhone's UI. I mean, I use my iPhone, but not the same way with Android. I just like stock Android. I do, but I, I'm not going to find that on anything else, but I, I hear you. I hear you. Totally hear you. Jerome, are the new Google Photos editing features on your 4A yet? I don't even know. I, I haven't even had a chance to look and see if it's something that I can do. You're talking about like the shit from the AI yesterday? Is that what you're saying? Um, actually, I'm going to try Lens right now. Oh, shit. I... No. It's still not the correct one. I tried I tried lens on the the <laughs> I took a picture of myself wearing this sweater that I'm wearing right now. This this uh oh this is Sean. This dinosaur sweater right here. And I, I was trying to use lens, but it's not picking the right ones. No, these are not the correct ones. If if, if anyone wants to know where you can get this um dinosaur sweater, you can go to Target in the boys section, cat and jack. Boys, large, 12 to 14. <laughs> uh, subscriber, the Pixel 5 is a good phone. If I buy it from Canada for $500 or less, then I probably will. Yeah, if you can find that deal, man, for sure. Definitely, definitely. Um, subscriber says, yes, it lags on some websites. My brother has it. Yeah, subscriber, feel free to share which websites because I, I haven't, I don't know if I've really experienced it like that, but... Um, thank you for sharing that. I have a super chat from Baron of Gray Matter. By the way, Black Friday is November 27th, the day after Thanksgiving. iPhone Pro Max and Mini deliver on November 13th. Let's see who has the patience to wait for the Pixel 5 sale. I mean, yeah, you'd have to wait another month plus, another, what, six weeks for the Pixel 5. But if you can hold off for six weeks, if I wasn't, if I wasn't a tech reviewer, right? If I didn't sit here and make these streams on the daily, I'd probably wait it out. I'd probably wait it out. 
One of the reasons I just want to, I mean, I want the phone because I want the phone. I don't know. Even if I wasn't a tech reviewer, I feel like I'd still get the phone because I don't have the patience for it, which is why like I get salty when I don't have the Pixel 5 and all these other guys do because I'm just like, dude, what, what am I like? But I won't bend over. I'm not saying that every influencer bends over. I keep saying that. I got to stop saying that. Baron of Gray Matter, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you for the support. It's always appreciated, man. Um, thank you for helping offset costs. Thank you for being part of the Phone Jerome fam. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, Baron of Gray Matter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, my God. I am, uh, I am like losing my spot now. Like, I think chat is too far gone that I can't. <laughs> Deepak says, Jerome, sell the Huawei before its secondhand price goes downhill. I mean, I, I'm, I just, I have my OnePlus 6T. I haven't sold that shit either. I, I know I got to get rid of a lot of that stuff. Uh, Preview says the value will drop as they're old and a lot of people will sell theirs. And I've heard people pre-ordering the Pixel purely to get the headphones and sell the phone. Yeah, there are a lot of people who do that. I have a friend who does that shit. He's probably watching right now. Sujo, where are you at? <laughs> uh, Sujo buys like a bunch of like wanted items and then like sells them for like a markup price. He probably doesn't want to show his face in here. He's like, why are you doing that? Don't don't tell people I do that. They're going to get mad at me. No one cares about you, Sujo. <laughs> uh, Javon says 5G is just an excuse to raise prices. Too much 5G marketing hype. 100%, 1000% agree. Agree, agree, agree. Paul says, Jerome, I totally don't get it. No one I know is interested in 5G, especially with 4G in the 26 megabit per second here in Holland. Still, these silly marketeers keep pushing it. For sure. Definitely. I, um, what can I say? I mean, I've been preaching this for a long time about how 5G is just a bunch of like malarkey right now. Man, what are with my words? What was the other word I said lately? Kerfuffle. Will was like, never use kerfuffle again. Malarkey, kerfuffle. I have a very dense vocabulary, people. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I, that's what I uh, define dense. Kerfuffle and malarkey. Uh, yeah, uh, 5G is a, uh, 5G is a bunch of uh, bullshit right now, but I do want to share something with that. So we're going to get into that maybe in a second, whenever I can like, Stop reading chat. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised there are these many people in here that want to like sit here and watch me talk about chat with phones. Here the P40 Pro has gone down to 550 euros, brand new. God damn it. Who wants to buy this P40 Pro Plus? Anybody? Anybody? It even comes with a UK, an EU charger, not a UK, an EU charger or a EU adapter thing. No, it has an E. Well, whatever. Comes with stuff comes with stuff. Dilla, happy Friday, Brody. Happy Friday, Dilla. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Aiden says, Sony A6500 has had the same stabilization tech Apple is boasting about. Essentially, the sensor is stabilized instead of using the lens. Thanks for sharing that. Do you think it's going to be that much of a difference for, um, why am I, I'm pointing at my DSLR. <laughs> is it going to be that much of a difference on the iPhone 12 Pro Max? Is that new OIS going to be like, world's better than the iPhone 12 Pro or you think it's just like a small upgrade? I mean, I guess I won't know until I get the phone. So I don't know. Jennifer Cho, I'm just looking forward to Black Friday, the 4A 5G Snapdragon 765G uh, chipset and Android 11. My current one is still on eight. What are you rocking? You're still on eight? You're still on Android eight? What are you using right now? Um, hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I love tech a lot. Never been a member. Oh, well, thank you for joining, man. Thank you for being part of the Phone Jerome fam. But I love how you're an honest YouTuber and you tell it like it is. I love that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Norman Iglesias, Pixel 5 is good. Ashley, who the hell is Ashley? My name's not Ashley. God damn it, Norman. Ashley Iglesias. <laughs> Prevo says mobile gaming is a joke anyways. At best, you have the quick games from Supercell that pass time. I don't play games. I don't even know what any of those games are. Um, but thank you, Prevo. <laughs> uh, Naranhan. Naranhan. Am I saying that right? Naranhan Ravi. 625 nits for the Pixel 5? Oh, Prevo says 600 nits. Hmm. But it's hard to leave my note. I'm, 
I, I still don't know what's up with Ashley. Who's Ashley? Anyway, um, you die. Am I saying that right? You die. Uh, Parva. Parvathaneni, Parvathaneni. Am I saying that right? Udai Parvathaneni, Parva, Parvathaneni. Pixel five versus the one plus eight T. Brain says one plus eight T. Heart says Pixel five. That's a tough one because you're having your heart make that part of the decision. So somebody just asked this earlier. If you are a fan of stock Android like I am, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're a fan of stock Android like I am, if you're a fan of like. The camera, I don't know, man. It's just the OnePlus 8T. Well, I don't know if you're in the US or you're elsewhere, but in the US, the OnePlus 8T is only $50 more with double the storage and more RAM and a better display and an 865 chipset and faster wire charging. Oh, yeah, it's tough. I, I just, I, that's why I don't agree with the $700 price point on the pixel five. So let me know what you end up getting. Welcome to the stream. I don't even know if you're still in here, but welcome to the stream. Uh, will everyone hit that like button. Thank you. Will. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. William says only stutters I've seen on the four A's when two graphical operations are going on at the same time, like watching video, uh, non YouTube and changing orientation. If you don't pause, there's some stutter. Thanks for sharing William. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, where am I at? Uh, Fear the Roo says thoughts. Refurbished iPhone 11 for 549. As always, for me, camera is number one. Battery is 1A. What is what's the regular price on an iPhone 11 right now for 128 gigs? It sounds like a good price, right? I don't know what the normal price is for an iPhone 11, but I, I feel like that sounds like a good deal. I think really the only way to figure that out too is to like see what the price is versus a new one and then what other phones you can get for 549. And then think of the other cameras that are in that market. Like what other cameras are better than the iPhone 11 at this point? The Pixel 5? You're not going to get that for well, you can get the Pixel 4a 5G for 499. You wouldn't have the same chipset though, but it sounds like a good deal, at least. Yeah, uh, Deepak says, very good deal. So, I does code. iPhone 12 is like the iPhone 10. It's such a shame people fall into Apple's traps. Let's take a second and talk. Let's take a second and thought. What, what the, what? Let's take a second and talk about that. Uh, I does code, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you're still here, but let's talk about that for a second. So, I've had the iPhone 10. The camera. Face ID, the battery, all of those things are nowhere close to my iPhone 11 Pro. Like when the iPhone 10s came out, I had a video about that. And I, I, I made like a funny joking like um, video that said it's the same shit. I, I can see where you're coming from when it comes to the iPhone 12 because it still has the same notch. It looks the same. It's still iOS, but the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11 Pro even has a better has a better battery, a better camera. And then just all the other, like, yeah, I get it. It's a boring phone. Everyone says that. I mean, would I would it would I say that a thousand dollars is a good deal on that phone? No, it's not. But I don't think the iPhone 12 is going to be anywhere like the iPhone 10. I don't think my iPhone 11 Pro is anywhere near like my iPhone 10 is. Again, like Face ID has also improved since then. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I does code. If you're still here, welcome, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for the comment. Uh, Alpha Q. Uh, Prime Day had awesome deals on TVs. Amazon had Sony uh, OLED 4K TVs at an amazing price. I... I mean, like this, this phone, <laughs> this, this TV here, um, I got for like 250, 286 after tax. I got a good deal, but, uh, whoever hung that TV up, hung it too high, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Anthony Scalisi, uh, definitely more bang for the buck 
uh, at 699 hardware wise, but I love the pixel experience and camera at 699 divided by 365 is $1.92 a day for something you use for everything. And most people keep them for two years, not one. I mean, that's a good way to think about it too. If you divide it by every day in the year, I feel like at that point, it's like, I just want to say, well, whatever makes you feel better. Um, I still think the Pixel 5 is better priced at $600, but but I, I understand. I mean, like, again, I'm buying the phone. I'm buying it at full price. So I get it. I get it. Um, Pryor says, I don't regret buying the S20, not for $600, but I really wanted the iPhone 12 this year. Insane Indian prices made it impossible, even on EMI. What's EMI? But uh, I, I hear you, man. I mean, you're, you're, you're making those big brain moves, making those big brain moves to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. Right? Right? Right. All right. Um, <laughs> let me, let me go on here. The Wu says off topic a bit. Just curious, who are your favorite YouTubers for tech? You Floss and Aaron Baker are my top three. Um, <laughs> so the woo, just an FYI, I don't watch, I don't, I don't watch tech YouTubers. I don't, I don't watch tech YouTube videos. I don't. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't. I used to watch them back before like I started. And then maybe when I initially started, I was still watching other people's videos, but I really don't anymore. I and it's it's no knock to them. I do I do occasionally watch like YouTubers that like I I occasionally talk with. Like I'll watch Grants, uh, I'll watch Joker Tech, I'll watch Mobile Geezer. Like it's just because I'm close with them and I I respect them and what they do and like them like respecting me and that's just love, right? But I don't watch I don't watch any like this TV right here has never, has never had a tech YouTube video up. <laughs> never. I watch eating videos. I watch mukbang videos. I watch, uh, I watch, there's that one guy, Jauma, who, who's a white guy who speaks Chinese. And then he'll like pretend that he only speaks English and then like swap up the conversation. I watch that kind of shit. <laughs> I don't watch, I don't watch tech YouTube videos. Like, it's funny. Will will send me messages all day, sending me video here, pixel five. And I'm just like, dude, I'm not watching this shit. I'm not, I'm not, um, team Vry, I watch, I've watched his as well. I'm like looking at chat here, but yeah, there, there are some, um, but I, I really don't watch other tech YouTubers. I, I will, I do respect Dave Lee because I feel like he's very honest. Um, and now I've been watching some other stuff, but that's only because like, you know, people have been like sharing it with me. So uh, Bert Kuhn says, I'm not an Apple fan, but the iPhone 12 is the best value in terms of hardware and long-term performance. Bert isn't wrong. That Like, let's be real. It At that price, you're getting a, a lot for the money, especially because most of those people are going to own those phones for two years, three years, four years. Some people might own them five years. Bert's not wrong. Amin, how are you, Jerome? I'm good, Amin. You know what, Amin? I just, I noticed that you followed me on Instagram and I can't remember your handle offhand, but it was, oh, it was, wait, what was it? You know what, Amin? <laughs> I, I remember seeing that. I was laughing my ass off. Amin, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Um, Deepak says, for me, Jerome, Grant, and Easy Computer Solutions are the top three. Well, thank you, Deepak. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel like getting the Pixel 3. I can find it for about 200 US. I'm worried about the four gigs of RAM. What do you think? I'm probably not the best person to answer this. I, You know what? You should ask Fear the Rue because I think he has a Pixel 3 or he has a 3XL. Actually, Brian has one too. He might be able to help. He might be able to help. I'm probably not the best person to answer that question at this point because I have a Pixel 4. I have a 4A. I haven't had a 3 in a minute. The last time I had a three, the screen went green. <laughs> oh my God. I am so far away from chat. I don't even, where am I at here? Okay. Udai, Udai, maybe it's Udai. I want a lightweight phone, but it needs to have a bigger screen. Can you suggest one in 2020? A bigger screen, lightweight. Is, is camera not important to you? 
What about the chipset? There's so many. I mean, do you want a 2020 phone? Why not get like a OnePlus 7T for 400 bucks if you don't care about the camera? Like, I feel like that's a good overall phone for $400. I'm, I'm trying to think of like, yeah, Pratyush says the S20 Plus is a very light and has a large screen. It, I'm I'm very hard. Like, I'm a hard person to give recommendations to because I know two phones. <laughs> I know the Pixel phone and I know the iPhone. Those are the two that I typically know. I mean, yes, I've owned other phones, but I don't. Yeah. Thank you, Pratyush. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, guys, I'm going to have to scroll down here because, we're, we're, oh my God, it's 57 minutes. Guys, we've been talking for the last hour. I haven't even gone into any of these stories. What What is going on? What are we, what are we doing here? Uh, Nicoletti, uh, do you have the Pixel Buds drone? Thoughts? May wait for uh, the Black Friday sale. I was going to say, may wait for the boyfriend sale. I'm like, what's the boyfriend sale? I, I want in on a sale. Uh no, I don't have them. I've been wanting to get them. I have AirPods Pros, but I've been wanting to test those Jelly Bean ones from Samsung. But I do want to test the Pixel Buds as well. I think there are like two different, there's mixed reviews on it. I think Grant has them. I think Grant can give an idea if uh, they're good. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I I wish I could give you some input on there, but I... I just have the AirPods Pros. If I get them one day, I'll, I'll let you know. So, but for a Black Friday sale, yeah, there might be a good deal. Yeah, Will says I had them twice. Will's not going to give you. Yeah, Will, yeah, Will's not going to give you a positive spin on it. Oh my God, you're Joe Biden, Jerome. Wow, he says malarkey. I didn't know that. Malarkey. What's wrong with malarkey? <laughs> okay. Uh, where. I need to I need to move down here. Uh, Deepak says sensor stabilization is a huge step up in mobile photography. Mark my words. All right. So what Deepak's telling me is I need to get this 12 Pro Max. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Aiden also says essentially it was equivalent to using an OIS lens, but without an OIS lens, but was impressive when combined with OIS. Thank you. Oh, talking about the A6500. Thank you, though. Thank you for sharing that. All right. I, I got I to gotta move down. Um, Jennifer was saying she was using her OnePlus 5T. Damn. I'm using my backup Moto G5S Plus, which is about three years old. At least, at least you got something that's working, right? Okay. Grant says, the Vivo X50 Pro has a gimbal stabilizer, and it looked marginally better than the iPhone 11 Pro. Wow. I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing that. See, I don't have... Uh, I don't have Vivos. Grant has 8 million phones. So Grant knows. Thank you, Grant. Thanks for sharing. BG Tech Life, what's going on, man? I'm reviewing the Pixel 5, and that's the question I have to answer in the end. Is it worth $699? I can answer that question. No. <laughs> According to me, no. But uh, you let me know what your answer is, BG Tech Life. You let me know. I don't think it's worth $699. I think it's worth $599. I don't think it's worth $6.99. <laughs> Will, Will agrees. No, nah, it's not. Um, Jason says, sidetrack, are you replacing your minis? HomePod mini or Google Nest audio? I'm not replacing either. Or I, I, I only wanted to replace them if I could play audio while I play the TV. Like while I'm watching a show on YouTube or YouTube TV or whatever the hell I'm watching, I want the audio to play on my minis, but I can't get that to happen. It doesn't look like it's a feature that like is baked in. I think you have to like do some like big brain shit to get it to work. So until that happens, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Will said you could do it with a HomePod mini, but you have to have Apple TV and I don't want Apple TV. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Will, I'm just going to go through like chat from people I haven't really seen, I think. Aren't all phones boring nowadays? Yes. The most exciting phone now is probably the LG Wing. I agree. I like the LG Wing. I wish I had stock Android. But yeah, most phones are pretty much the same. There's not much different about phones these days. I hear you. Hi, Will. Z, Z, Z. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Mr. Jerome. If Google sells the Pixel 5 for $649 at Black Friday, will it be a good deal? It'll be an okay deal. It'll be better than $699. $599, it'll be a 
a fair deal at five ninety nine. Fair deal, fair deal at five ninety nine. I would say six forty nine. Still a little overpriced. I think five ninety nine is a fair deal. It's not a good deal, but it's a fair deal. All right, I'm. I'm. I need to move down. Uh, ABC one two three. Eye sheeps are so blind. See, this is the kind of like weird shit talk that like I don't like because it's this is just like what what I want to promote here on this channel is like we actually have a conversation about phone shit, not just like eye sheep. Oh, Android fanboy. I man, 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 man. I just it's like can we can we not do the name calling? Can we just like look at a phone and see what's worth it and what isn't? Why do we always have to have like this kind of like weird ass name calling. I just, I don't get it. I've owned every iPhone and there's a reason I own it. I've owned every pixel and there's a reason I own that. And just let's, I just, let's see here. They're so blind. They're still supporting Apple and mocking others. If they say anything against Apple, shitty Apple fans. I just, why? Like, what is, why, why, why are you so butthurt about it? Like, who cares? Who cares what other people say? Just buy the phone that you want to use and like use it. It's fine. I own an iPhone. I own a Pixel. I think they're both great phones. That's why I've owned every single one that comes out every year. I just, yeah, dude, chill out, man. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. All right. Um, where am I at? Ted, everyone drop a like on this video. Thank you, Ted. Yeah. Do what Ted says. <laughs> Uh, Baron says, people have had the S20 fan edition for a few weeks now. Have you heard about overheating, finish rubbing off, bad speakers? No. Pixel is just now out and already issues. What the hell? Uh, I'm going to say something about this too. So it's funny that Baron mentions this because what Baron just said about these issues, do you think that these issues are going to come up for the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 mini? Probably not. Probably not. And just like that person who commented about iSheep or whatever, it's like, dude, there's a reason that iPhones sell the way they do. Yeah, a lot of people buy them because it's like, you know, everyone in like their grandma has one, but there's also a reason other people buy them as well because they actually hold their value. They're a premium product. They perform well. The camera's great. The battery's great. Is it overpriced? I think so. But if you own that phone for five years, can you really call that overpriced at that point? Can you blame someone for buying an iPhone after having one for five years and not having issues with it? I can't. I can't. That's why like, I don't talk shit that way. Like, I don't say like this weird, like at that point, you're just like fanboyism. It's just too much. Eh. Um, Abahat. Am I saying that right? Abahat. Solanki, what's up? What up, man? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, TV too high. Definitely. I agree, Salua. <laughs> it's too high. I've said that earlier. Or I said that when I first got it hung up. It was too high. I didn't hang it though. So I don't know how to do that shit. Maybe, maybe one day I'll get that hung a little lower. That's what she said. Salua, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> man, I watch more YouTube than regular TV. I don't even watch regular TV, man. I don't watch regular TV at all at all. I can't remember the last time I watched anything on TV. I don't even watch sports anymore. Do you know I watch esports instead? I just, I don't. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a thing for me anymore. Okay. Um, Javon says, what do you think about the OnePlus Nord for $200? <laughs> I'm the wrong person to answer for this because I, I am really not a fan of like lower chipset phones. I don't know much about it. I can only imagine how a 460 operates, but for $200, like what other phones can you get at 200 bucks? Or is it worth just saving $150 more and getting like a Pixel 4a? I, I don't know. I don't know. I have a new member. Who's my new member? <laughs> Gantek. Gantek, you've been a new, you've been a YouTube member. God damn it. <laughs> Right? Have you not, Gandek? Welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you for uh, re-upping. Thank you for continuing to be part of the Phone Jerome fan. I I appreciate it. I I might be kidding around like that, but but thank you, thank you, Gandek. As always, thank you for re-upping. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, 
Gandex says, back, Jerome. Just wanted to line it up with my other monthly subs. <laughs> Gandex, thank you for thank you for re-upping. Always nice to have you, as always. Thank you so much. Thank you for being part of the phone, Jerome fam. Thank you, guys. All right. God damn it. I'll, all right. I can't. I can't. We can't do all this. I, I just, we got to like, we're an hour and seven minutes into this. I have an appointment today at 4, 430. And I would like to like give my like self a break before I have to like go back to work work. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go through some of these stories here. I'll just share a couple thoughts here. But uh, I want to talk about this because this article from Dave Ruddick, I haven't had a chance to read it, but I feel like I'm going to agree with everything Dave says here. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. The Pixel 5 is not enough and way too much. Already, I agree. I saw, I saw the article title. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. The Pixel 5 is not enough. I agree. It's also way too much. I also agree. Unrealistic pricing and regressions over the prior generation are too hard to overcome. I've been using the Pixel 5 for the better part of a week now, and it's the first Google phone in years I'm getting a very particular feeling about. That doesn't sound good. I'm getting a very particular feeling about. Here's the thing. The Pixel 4 I had a very particular feeling about because I paid $800 for that phone and I didn't think it was worth it. But I'm still kind of excited for the Pixel 5. So I don't know. But I'm just not sure how long I'm going to keep using it now that this review has gone up. The Pixel 5 is by its nature an exercise in compromise, a slower chipset, the lack of face unlock. So this doesn't bother me. That is not a big deal to me. I prefer the fingerprint reader, a missing telephoto camera lens, and cost cuts on components like haptics make it a bizarre case of this year's phone being worse in very material ways than last year's. So I don't agree with the face unlock part. The missing telephoto camera lens is yes, that's a bummer, but I would rather have an ultra wide than a telephoto. I know that that can go both ways. I would have appreciated all three, obviously, but I get what he's saying here. Cost, cost cutting on components like haptics, has anybody talked about the haptics on the Pixel 5? I didn't realize that was a thing. Have they ha, have the haptics gone worse from the Pixel 4 to the Pixel 5? Uh, and yes, it also improves. The Pixel 5 has more RAM, more storage, 5G, are you <laughs> arguably useless in the US, I agree, and a battery that just goes and goes. Also, that's a great thing. These are all pretty good things, but once you consider the price of this phone, $700 here in the US, the things you give up just cut too far in the wrong direction for me. I also can't blame him there. This was also my gut reaction the moment Google announced the retail price of the Pixel 5 here in America. Also agree. You guys know, if you guys were in the live stream that day, you saw how I kind of was just like, my God, $700 for this phone with a 765. But now that I've had a chance to really stew on it, I feel even more strongly. <laughs> oh my God, that's not good. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's not just a reasonable case to be made that saving $100 was a wise decision here. It's left the Pixel 5 compromised in ways competitors will easily exploit. It's too bad because the Pixel 5 is, even faults considered, a pleasant phone to use. But that price is a critical hump I'm just not able to get over. This is why I keep talking about making big brain moves. Make big brain moves, make high IQ moves. Don't buy the phone at $700, wait it out. If you can wait it out, even if it's a month or two months, get it for $699 or $699, $599, or maybe they'll drop it even more. Like, wait it out if you can. Make that big brain move. Big House Productions with a... F God damn it, why is this... <laughs> Big House Reductions of the $5 Super Chat. Just read the chat Friday. <laughs> that would take forever. I haven't even, I had to scroll down to, I had to scroll down through so much. My God. It was like an hour before I even got into the first story, but Big House Productions with the $5 Super Chat. Big House, thank you so much for the support. As always, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for helping offset costs. Thank you for being part of the Phone Jerome fam. Thank you for, thank you for supporting, as always. <laughs> I see. Um, and I see Grant. See, he wrote this while waiting for his missed FedEx Pixel 5 delivery. 
<laughs> Grant was talking about this earlier. Um, so so the flow. Am I saying that right? So so the flow. Uh, just wait for the price. Uh, for the markdown. Right. Big brain moves. Big brain moves. Let's get back into this. But that price is a critical hump. But that price is a critical hump. I'm just not able to get over. Then it lists the specs, but we've talked about this all the time. The good. So main and ultra wide sensors take stunning photos. The phone goes and goes. So the battery is great. Google picked a nice panel for the five. It's got great colors. It doesn't crush blacks. So that's good to know. Uh, fast and reliable for the fingerprint scanner. Unspoiled Android. I've never heard anyone call Android that instead of stock Android. Unspoiled Android. Three years of OS updates. Best in the business. The not so good, the price. This phone is laughably borderline crazily over, overpriced. Google is off its rocker. <laughs> he he he's a lot. I mean, I feel I feel very strongly about the price too. But uh, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Uh, the chipset, say what you will, but this is a noticeably slower phone than even last year's Pixel Four. A Snap Seven Sixty Five doesn't belong in a seven hundred dollar phone. I can't, I'm not going to disagree with David there. I'm not going to disagree with that. Regressions, worse performance, slower camera processing, no face unlock, no telephoto camera, worse haptics. This is new to me. Grant, Grant, you're in here, right? How are the haptics? Oh, wait, he says it. Pixel 5 haptics feel the same as the 4A. Are the haptics on the 4A and the 4 different, Grant? Because for me, I don't think I've really felt that kind of a difference. I feel the haptics on the 4A are pretty good. I feel like they're similar to the 4. Are the haptics on the Pixel 5 worse than the haptics on the 4? Let me know. Yeah, Robert is saying that. On Reddit, people are complaining about the haptics not being as good. Am I going to have to test this out? I'm going to have to test it out after. I'll test out the haptics on my, my Pixel 4. And then I'll test it out on the 4A and I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that. I felt like the haptics on this might be just a little different though because of the plastic build. So the haptics would just be like a little, I thought the plastic build had something to do with the haptics, but I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> stop with the chipset already. You won't notice. But I notice it on my 4A, the Woo. I notice it. I mean, the 4A 5G and the 5 are going to have a little better performance, but I, I'm i sure I'm going to notice that too. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, Javon, got to go, y'all, or got to go. See y'all later. Javon, thanks for making it, man. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Um, board at work comparison is uh, is an awesome video too. I, I'll, I I guess I'll have to take some time to, to look at that. Um, I'm like looking at chat here. I just, again, guys, I can't go through everything right now. I've, I've spent an hour going through chat. I appreciate it though. Appreciate you guys um, stopping by saying what's up. If you have a Pixel 4a, just imagine someone spreading a nice, even coat of quality paint <laughs> over all that plastic there. You've got a Pixel 5. Do you guys agree with this? That is pretty harsh. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. Uh, while the $700 premium pixel isn't actually plastic until you go wrenching on it, you'd never know. Twisting the little phone in your hands quickly reveals that metallic structure, though an invisible gap has been carved out of the black, out of the back to allow for wireless charging along the side, a nice and clicky power key and volume rocker are placed at a reasonably comfortable height. This is a small phone. Almost any part of it is easy to reach, though I found both a bit too recessed compared to previous generations. So him saying this right here, saying the, the volume rocker and the button, the power, the lock button is a little recessed, brings me back to Dave Lee's video yesterday saying that the, the, the tactile feel on the Pixel 5 wasn't as good as the 4A, which is a little disappointing. And um it looks like Dave Ruddick is saying something similar here. The barely there camera hump in, ensures, sorry, let me get back here. Uh, the Pixel 5 will never quite lay perfectly flat on the surface. I'm not too concerned about that, but it's being too close to flush that I can't complain, blah, blah, blah. Capacitive fingerprint scanner. I'm not like, I like the fingerprint scanner. I do like the newest gen of optical fingerprint readers. Don't get me wrong. 
but I'd be hard pressed to come up with a compelling reason not to use. Yeah. I'm I, again, I, I feel the same way. The issue from the Pixel 4a scanner remains. The cutout for the scanner is so shallow, it can be difficult to physically distinguish with your finger. So I don't have that issue. On my 4a, I don't, I don't have the issue finding the fingerprint reader. I'm, I'm able to get to it, no problem. It doesn't, I don't think it's not recessed enough. I feel like I find it, I don't want to say 100% of the time, but most of the time. I don't, I don't think that's an issue for me. The thing I'm less able to get over is the fact that this capacitive fingerprint scanner replaces what for Android was the gold standard in secure face unlock on the Pixel 4 and 4 XL, a feature I very much, I very much miss here. So I don't miss, oops, I don't miss that feature. I really don't. I was still, it took nine months to get face unlock to work with Chase. And even at that point, my Capital One app still couldn't unlock the app without me putting the, without me putting my password in like i wouldn't i i get it that's a third party thing or whatever but initially when face unlock came out it was also slower to use it it's gotten better over time but yeah so so that for me isn't that big of a deal on the bottom are the usb c port and one of the pixel 5's two speakers Two, you say, I only see the one. Well, there's a bit of a nifty, so that he's talking about the top speaker. Let me just see what he says here. Um, as usual on a Pixel phone, they also sound pretty good. Okay, they may not get as loud as some other phones, but clarity is surprisingly decent with no grating, clipping, or peakiness that I tend to more frequently observe on even super premium Android phones of late. So he's not even complaining about the speaker up top. Again, this might be different for everyone, but hmm. Okay, um, no micro SD slot. Uh, doesn't have a headphone jack. 18 watt charging. When a phone like the OnePlus AT, which costs a whopping fifty dollars more, is managing to go from zero to charge in under forty minutes. I'm starting to expect a little more here. Google at nearly 4,100 milliamp hours, the Pixel 5's battery is very considerably larger than any previous Pixel phone, and it does take a little while to get up to full. I mean, that's fair. Um, the Pixel 5's 1080p 90 hertz display is great. So he talked about that this, that the display was good. I'm not going through this whole thing. We're, we're an hour and 20 minutes into the stream right now. Haptic effects are weaker, less crisp, and just not as pleasant. This was one of the very best parts of the last couple generations of Pixel, and seeing Google sacrifice premium haptics for the sake of presumably saving a few bucks is just sad. On a completely separate note, I still love, okay, I don't care about the cases. Battery life we know, software we know is gonna be good. Performance is a mixed bag. So he's saying the 765 is fine, but you need to look at the optics here. Google released a $700 phone in 2020 that is objectively demonst demonstrably, demonstrably slower than the $800 one it released in 2019. And that's just not a hot look. Yeah, okay, I get that. The Pixel 5 is pretty quick. Most people will be fine with that. And if your only concern is that this phone is going to become a laggy piece of trash a year from now. Let me disabuse you of that notion. There's really nothing to worry about. I mean, that's nice to see too. Um, Pixel 5 is very noticeably slower than the 4. There's no arguing it. The Pixel 4 is smoother, faster, and gets hung up when doing multitasking far less frequently. Also, I can see that. So he's he's digging into the price. I I get that. I've we've we've talked about the price for so long. I'm not going to spend time doing that. Um, camera. And yeah, I mean, I think we read that in the the notes here is that the camera is just great. It's 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 a great camera phone. He talks about how the ultra wide is just just wide enough. It's not quite as crazy as most at just 107 degrees. There's no comparisons here. Stabilization looks crazy good, blah, blah, blah. He gave it a seven of 10. The Pixel 5 will make a certain kind of per... I, there, there's really no point to get into the rest of this. Really, he's arguing the price point here. If it was cheaper, then yeah. He probably wouldn't give it as much flack. He'd probably still say that he wishes there would be a premium model. I think a lot of us feel that way. I think a lot of us feel that 
if Google released whatever they called it, a Pixel 5 Pro, a Pixel 5 Plus, whatever, whatever they want to call it, and they added an 865 chipset in there, and you know, they they added, I mean, I don't know if they have the tech to, I mean, it looks like the cameras improved. Although, again, there are issues with the overheating, the material rubbing off, but these are anecdotal things. I don't know for sure if these are real issues. I mean, yes, they're real issues. People are having those issues. I can't change the price. None of us can change the price. It is what it is. There's one more thing I want to like talk about here. Will actually sent me this. This is a, and now it's like being weird and okay. So there's uh, this video here from New Pixel 5 name? device. I'll be Stetson. testing out Pixel 5 on Verizon's and millimeter wave 5G network. And has this video about him We're doing testing millimeter wave 5G data speed tests. 5G. Hotspot data speed tests. Millimeter wave. To see if we can share band band our millimeter wave with 5G Pixel speeds 5. with our other oh, devices. And shit. even I didn't mean to turn Netflix on the audio. I'm sorry. Sorry. Audio is good now. So he goes, <laughs> he goes around trying to find millimeter wave. He lives in Colorado, I think. And then he gets his ass to Denver because I don't think he lives in Denver. But he's like, I think in the heart of Denver or in downtown Denver looking for 5G coverage, looking for ultra wide band or ultra wide 5G. So he's having a hard time finding it going around looking for it. Then he ends up like going across the street and then he's able to pull insane speeds like this, getting 1.7 gig down, right? Um, and around 70 meg upload. So he's getting crazy speeds. But in order to get those speeds, he has to one, leave his house, two, find a place that has it. This isn't something that you're gonna get indoors, at least not yet and coverage is very limited for it. But it's nice to see that it does work, and it's nice to see that it does get crazy speeds, right? There, There's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. I, I love that there's technology out for it, and I love that they're able to, to use it, to implement it on a Pixel 5. And then I think later on, he goes on and he uses it as a hotspot, and he puts it onto his uh, iPhone to, to, to like piggyback off of the... The quick speeds, where where is this at here? There's also a part here where he actually sees the, yeah, here. So he finds, he finds this is the millimeter wave, whatever it's called, right? Um, so he finds it and like, I don't know how much coverage this gives or how far it gives that coverage, but my point here, what I wanted to talk about real quick is yes, that's great. That millimeter wave works somewhat. You still got to be outdoors. You still got to be in its line of sight, it looks like. And then you can get those crazy speeds. What are you going to use those speeds for when you're outside? I don't know. But that's not the point. Technology is technology is technology. You want to take advantage of it wherever you can. And I'm glad to see that. But it is not a reliable source for 5G. Not today. Not tomorrow. I don't know if it will be a year from now. I would love for it to be, but I just don't know. This is why I, I, I complained about Verizon adding millimeter wave shit on the Pixel 5 because I know most of us aren't going to use it. I know most of it won't be implemented unless we're outside or whatever. It's just not, it's just not, essential right now. It's not something that everyone can use. It's not, not everybody lives in these parts and, it, or like in busy parts or whatever. I just not, not, not to mention the fact that Verizon is going ahead and like charging extra money for the 4A 5G with millimeter wave. I mean, I guess if you live in a place that you can get it and you you're actually using it, but I don't know. So I just, it's good. It's good that it works. I'm not arguing that fact. I'm glad that it works and I'm glad that it's something, right? But uh, is it time for it right now? I really don't think so. But 
we've talked about like the 5G hype for a long time. And I just, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and rage about it because I've been doing that for too long. And, um, I've been talking for an hour and a half now and yeah. So let me just, uh, get through chat here just to like kind of round things off. I got to go pizza Friday calls. I'm jealous that you're going to eat pizza and I'm not it was nice stopping by. See you next week. Have a good weekend. Gandak. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Robert says maybe he can't find 5G because he did the test before the Apple event. They invented Pi. <laughs> so it wasn't out yet. Uh, Nestor, what's going on? If you need the Verizon version through the Google store, you can get it for $6.99 and you get a $50 store credit. But for qualified activations, yeah. Uh, I did read Robert's comment, Will. <laughs> I can see Google including it for Verizon and charging a hundred dollar premium on it, but why on earth not have a separate SKU, 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 when some carriers that aren't even carrying it in stores? True. Like I would have rather had them make a 5G version that didn't have millimeter wave, chop a hundred dollars off, and then everyone can laugh at the Verizon version and say, why would you spend a hundred dollars more for millimeter wave? That won't even work unless you're inside your house or unless you're outside in front of the tower, like, yeah, I, I agree. I totally agree. Did I not read the comment? Will? I thought I did. Did I just not, am I missing something? I did read it, right? Am I, am I behind Lou? What up slim? <laughs> what up Lou? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Fear the roof 42. Got to head out dinner with fam sausage and mushroom. I'm so jealous. What's with everyone eating pizza today? Have a great weekend, Phone Jerome fam. Cheers. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. I guess with that being said, it's time for me to go too. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone here in chat. If you guys haven't had a chance, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. It's a way to show support. You can hit the subscribe button if you'd like. I stream weekdays at 2 p.m. Central. 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. Thank you to all my patron members, to all my YouTube members, to everyone who super chatted today, to people who talked in chat. It's, it's always nice to have everyone here. Come back again on Monday. We'll do it all over again. We'll talk more tech. We'll see what's going on. It's crazy to see the numbers in here because I just, like, I appreciate you guys. Please know that. Like, I, I appreciate the support. I've been grinding for a while now. So it's, it's crazy to see, but guys come back again, Monday. We'll talk more. If you guys are just lurking, talk in chat, say something. God damn it. Say hi to me. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't bite. <laughs> Have a good weekend guys. Enjoy it. I'll see you Monday. Bye.